Hi, I'm Dale with Little Crow Gunworks, and we're here with NSZ85, and we're going to check the headspace on a uh, AR-15 barrel that's that's not on the upper receiver. I kind of like doing it this way because you're you're not working around the upper, and you can just take your bolt head, and then I use a a, a large punch, so I got some leverage to to twist with. You will need a, a go gauge and a no go gauge, and uh, the nice thing is, it's it's much quicker than checking the headspace on a an assembled upper. Right here we have our go gauge. We can just simply drop that into our our chamber, and then we've got it oriented so the feed ramps are down below, and then we're going to take a look at where the extractor is sitting and we're going to orient them just like it would be on your on your rifle and you can push forward and we're giving it a um, about a 15 degree turn and it slid right around so we know that will it will close on the go gauge and then we're going to take our no go gauge drop it in the chamber make sure we're oriented right again overcome the resistance of the extractor and the ejector and then give it a twist and it's not going to turn so we can just twist her back a little bit and then you're good to go you know the headspace on this barrel setup with this bolt is good to go thanks for watching